Hey, Bobby, we're live. Yes, another, we are. Another late one. We maybe we maybe could have skipped this one. No, I, I had fun watching that game. There was a lot to talk about. I think uh, there was some interesting takeaways out of that one, namely from everyone's favorite point guard. Wasn't the hot take on Twitter tonight that this was going to be the breakout game for Jeff Teague? It might have been the game. Who that said it was going to be a breakout game? I saw various people say that. I'm not going to oh, call it any names, but I, I feel like this was more of a let's see if Teague can perform a little better with the starters than he's been, but like more of like Teague's last gasp rather than like anybody thinking this was going to be something special. So they put him out there in crunch time. They were looking for other options throughout the flow of the game to play that point guard spot. I'm surprised they got away from double big and just didn't throw three forwards out there and allow Tatum and Brown to play make into right. the final stretches of this game. But they were looking for that guard. Carson Edwards, wasn't it? Tremont Waters, bless him, had good stretches in this one. I thought he played good defense and passed well, and it was a big part of that comeback stretch that ended up tying this one with some nice playmaking in the fourth. But he went one for eight from the field. Tre- Tremont Waters is a lifetime G leaguer. Um, and – Great. You know, pat on the butt for effort. That's great. If this was youth league, everyone gets a quarter. That's fine. Tremont Water shouldn't be playing for this team any meaningful minutes at any point in time. But this is what happens. Look, you're out. Smart. Pritchard. You know, that's how it's going to go. You're yeah. out this many players. Smart. Pritchard. Kemba. You got to go deep. So that's what they did. And so this this game, if it proves anything as we get to Jeff Teague... He's a horrible defender, at least on the stretch of this game. The defense was horrible by him. I don't think this is the I don't think this is the Jeff Teague victory lap game. I really don't. Like, who cares? Like, Jeff Teague is bad. He's a backup point guard. He's not. Jeff Teague is Jeff Teague is very likely cuttable once they if they find anybody else either in a trade or a buyout market. I'd be stunned if Jeff Teague finishes the year as a Celtic. I just don't think he's interesting enough to talk about at, at any point in time i really don't the, well i think is, it slams the, the door shut on anybody who thought he was going to be a potentially impactful rotation player and he was bad last year no one else in the league wanted him all that much they were able to get him on a minimum and it worked for about a night and ever since they have not yeah, been able to Jeff get anything Teague is supposed to be veteran presence to come in maybe run with the second unit, get you a bucket or two because you don't know who else is going to. That's the extent of what he should do. He's your eighth, ninth, or tenth guy at best. So the fact that he's fallen from ninth or tenth to like 11th or 12th is not a tremendous development. I really don't think so. This is a guy who wasn't counted on doing a ton. It was a veteran guy who's played well in the past and you roll the dice to see if he's got anything left. I just don't think the Jeff Teague thing is that big a deal. He's not a guy you're going to count on. Like, he, he fell behind Pritchard in the depth chart like 10 seconds into the season. I mean, <laughs> I mean he's, he, he's so That's far true. better. When, you have, when, when everybody's healthy here, there'll never be another Jeff Teague conversation again because he's just not going to play any sort of impactful minutes. This was just one of those games where they've, they're down three guards, so you're playing two guys who probably aren't good enough to be in the league right now or you know, very fringy players. I mean, neither Teague nor Waters – they're barely rosterable, let alone guys who would be playing 20 minutes so a game. I, I, th- I think you make a good point there. When Peyton Pritchard comes back, those minutes would funnel to him. Yeah. But at this spot, you would probably still see T play some minutes. And I don't like him being that next option in the starting lineup as he's been for stretches of this year. It's probably cost him some games trying to force some minutes to him and try to get him going. And I get that Steven's saying that he wants to keep everyone involved and the veterans get the edge and all this different kind of stuff. I would have gone with Tremont Waters in the closing stretch of this game, or at least Tristan Thompson. So they played, I, I, Tremont was in there most of the most of the fourth until the until very near the end. Yeah, and then it got to that final stretch there where it was tied. He let Fox get by him. Tice had to come help, and then Holmes ended up scoring an important three point play down the stretch of this one. So I like this was just a winnable game to me. I'm not saying that T's going to sink the team come playoff time. And he's still going to be getting minutes then, but. This is a game that I felt like the Celtics could have had. Tatum was playing at a high rate. They got their best game from Tristan Thompson. That's yet, what I that's what I would have led with, Bobby. He wasn't out there for crunch time. So 
I had to start with Teague. It was just so disappointing. I thought it was a dog that. shit night for everybody, honestly. Uh, this was a low energy, low effort sort of night. Uh, this was a going through the motions night. I mean, the fact that they had two 10 point leads and just let Sacramento just walk back into it. Well, Tatum was rolling. He was rolling at a high, almost had got his first uh, career. I, he was rolling, but he shot, he shot poorly. Um, you know, it was Rob Williams. Rob Williams is good. Rob Williams is highly effective. This was this game. If you're going to, if you're, if I'm headlining the games, it's not the Jeff Teague bust game. This is the, this is the double bigs. This was, this was the best players on the court tonight were your bigs. Uh, and that was Tristan and Rob, I thought, for stretches. Um, those guys were the most effective and most efficient players out there. Tristan looked, as you said, a little bit more agile, more aggressive. Yeah.